that's a pretty decent milestone for a car, any car to hit if you think about it. The, um, especially since I have really haven't had to do much to this XRS. All I've done is change the spark plugs once just because I've, I've went through several bottles of nitrous. I was like, yeah, it's probably time to change spark plugs. Um, brakes, I have done the axles. And they they were getting close to being need to be replaced, but I just went ahead and replaced them anyway. And then the other the one thing that really did kind of go bad in my car is the throw out bearing in the transmission. But that was really thirty dollars. Heck that cost more in transmission fluid than it did for the freaking bearing. But the milestone I'd like to say that I actually finally hit is the distance from the earth to the moon. It is 238,000 miles. Well, 238,900 miles. The average distance from the earth to the moon. And I think yesterday, yesterday I finally hit that number. And it was yesterday. So I got sitting at 239,000. So I just hit it by 133 miles. So now I've been able to cruise around the moon for a little bit, you know, about 130 miles I've been able to cruise around, basically. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of a cool feat. You know, if you think about how far the, the moon is away from us, it's 238,000 miles. And I have technically driven that far in this car and the amount of maintenance I've had to do to this thing is surprisingly very very little and I don't know it's just as many times as this thing's hit over 8,000 rpms is how many launches and everything I've done at the drag strip and like I said many many bottles of nitrous I haven't had to really do anything to this car so it's I think that's a pretty good feat for a car to hit um, the next milestone I want to hit is about 10,000 miles and that'll be driving around the equator 10 times I think it's around 249,000 miles is the amount of miles it would take to drive around the equator 10 times but hey I can't complain with this car man it's it's done its job it's it still gets depending on how I'm driving anywhere between 30 to 36 miles to the gallon still and it's, I love this car it's awesome I mean I like the I would say wolf in sheep's clothing look where this looks like every other Corolla that's on the street and you can't really tell them apart unless you know know the Corollas but uh it might not be a wolf maybe a, a wolf puppy but it's, it's a wolf puppy it's not a wolf but this car's pretty peppy and it surprises the crap out of a lot of people. I mean, I've hung with a lot of cars that you would never think a Corolla should be able to hang with between WRXs and Focus STs and SRT4 Neons and stuff like that. It's like, mm, these cars shouldn't keep up with those or even beat them with just an intake and an exhaust. But like I said, I'm happy with that milestone, 239,000 miles. I'm, my car is now driven to the moon, technically. If there was a road, well, I guess that's all for now. Until next time, I'll see you later.
I could have probably easily went another 20 to 50,000 miles easily on the clutch that was in the car. And I, that was the factory clutch that came in the car. So still as many miles I've had on and the things I've had to replace. So not bad.